Welcome to Test Center Developer, a fully equipped mobile device testing lab delivered to you through the cloud. In a few short minutes, you'll quickly appreciate the benefits of testing your mobile websites and apps from the convenience of your desktop. Once your Test Center Developer account is created, getting started is easy. Log into your Device Anywhere account and download a copy of Device Anywhere Studio. Next, select Test Center Developer. Here you'll find administration tools, your device list, and other resources to help. Clicking Access Devices will get you started. Now you're in Test Center Developer and ready to start testing. Next to the Test Case Manager, you'll see your devices. Devices are organized by the packages you can access or by your customizable projects. From our library of over a thousand devices, you can quickly find the device you need. Right-click on a device, select Acquire, and now your session has begun. You are now looking at the actual screen of a real device hosted in a Device Anywhere data center. Each device is electrically integrated with our Device Anywhere hardware using patented, state-of-the-art technology. Most of our devices are connected to live mobile operator networks. This lets you do real over-the-air testing on your websites, apps, or even SMS campaigns. The screen output of the device is streamed directly to Device Anywhere Studio. Adjust the device screen to the size that works best for your testing needs. The largest one is pixel perfect, but smaller sizes allow you to see the entire screen and make interaction with the device much easier. Now I'll actually start interacting with the device. Note that because I'm interacting with a real device located in one of our data centers, there is a slight delay to account for the time it takes to send your input over the internet to the device and then ship the device's screen back to your computer. For best results, make sure you have a good internet connection and try to interact with the device a little more slowly than you would with the device in your hand. One of the best ways to speed up your session with the device is adjusting the output to optimize for performance. This can be done in the audio video tab of the device console. Sliding the bar towards best performance will increase the compression of the stream, allowing you to achieve a higher frame rate with the device you're testing. Now I'm ready to test my mobile website or mobile app on a real device. I'm already in the web browser of this device, so I'll enter my URL. I can do that by selecting the URL field by using my mouse to touch on the device's screen, just like I would if I had the device in my hands. However, I can also enter text into the device by selecting the entry box and starting to type on my keyboard. Note, there is also a text entry utility where I can type or copy and paste an existing text string from another application. When I'm entering longer text strings, it's much more efficient to let Device Anywhere Studio do it for me. Once I'm done entering my text, I hit send to send it to the device. However, first I have to choose the visible keyboard so Device Anywhere knows where to touch on the device's screen to enter the correct letters. This keyboard we see on the device currently is the web keyboard, used for entering URLs. It has keys like .com and doesn't have a spacebar, like the typical alpha keyboard, which is used to enter most text for filling out forms or typing search terms. I choose web and hit send. And you can see that Test Center Developer enters the text much faster than I could by hunting and pecking on the device's screen, saving me time. Now that I've arrived at my website, I want to conduct functional testing by interacting with the screen and seeing how the pages render on the device. Holding down the control or the shift key and using my mouse, I can swipe a page to the right or swipe up and down, just as a real user would. I also need to check how my website looks in landscape mode, so I'll right click on the screen and select the orientation I want to see. Now let's say I find an issue. One of the pages didn't look quite right. I can quickly capture a screenshot with another right click and send it to another member of my team. I can also perform tests on multiple devices at the same time. From the library, I can now right click and check out an Android device and see that my first session is still open at the tab on the top. I can check out as many available devices as I need at any given time. On this Android device, I'd like to test the native app. Because typically I'm testing my application pre-launch, it's not yet in the App Store. 
Device Anywhere provides a utility to help get my pre-release applications on the devices. First, I can upload the application to the Device Anywhere secure server. Then, I can send it to the device using the data cable connection over ADB directly onto the Android device. Once the app is downloaded, I can start my manual testing. My entire session is recorded, so I can share it with others. Device Anywhere also allows me to share the device's screen in real time with other users, allowing me to collaborate with other members of my testing team. Finally, Test Center Developer comes with advanced utilities such as device log connection and FTP tunneling to provide additional support to my development team. Once you get going, there are many other self-help resources available to you. At any time, you can find more information about Test Center Developer and how to use it in our Quick Start Guide and our User Manual by clicking here. Try Test Center Developer, and you'll see how easy and affordable it is to run your tests from the cloud. Sign up to request a free three-hour trial of Test Center Developer today, or contact our customer service team for a personalized demo to answer any questions you have.